Good afternoon and welcome to another day of devotion. I'm Reverend Parker here at Community Baptist Church. Thank you for joining us for another daily devotion, another uh, lesson with God. Amen. And so as we get into this lesson, uh, let us read it all together. And it comes from Isaiah chapter 58, verse 7. And it says, Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry? And that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house, when thou seest the naked, and that thou cover him, and that thou hide not thyself from thy flesh. In the LT version, it reads, Share your food with the hungry, and give shelter to the homeless, give clothes to those who need them, and do not hide from relatives who need your help. <laughs> Amen. And so let's read this lesson together and uh, see what we glean from it. It says, a key to answer prayer. Maxim Duda writes, ours is the wealthiest generation of Christians ever. We are bright, educated, and experienced. We can travel around the world in 24 hours or send a message in a millisecond. We have the most sophisticated research in medicine at the lips of our fingers at the tips of our fingers, Lord. We have ample resources. A mere 2% of the world's grain harvest would be enough. If shared to erase the problems of hunger, hunger and malnutrition around the world, there is enough food on the planet to offer every person 2,500 calories of, of substance a day. We have enough food to feed the hungry. When your grandchild when your grandchildren discover, discover you live during a day in which 1.75 billion people were poor and 1 billion were hungry, how will they judge your response? That's a question. More importantly, what will God say? That's another question. When the Israelites complained that God wouldn't answer their prayer, he told them, what I'm interested in seeing you do is sharing your food with the hungry. Inviting the homeless uh, poor into your home, putting clothes on the shivering, ill clad, being available to your own family. Do this, and the lights will turn on, and your lives will turn around at once. Then, when you pray, God will answer. You call out for help, and I'll say, Here I am. If you're genu genuine, with the hungry and start giving yourself to the down and out, your life will begin to glow in the darkness. I will always show you where to go. I'll give you a full life. That's verses 7 and 11. So instead of focusing on your own needs, focus on the needs of others. That's the key to answer prayer. Amen. And so, um, what we have here is God is looking for what will you do for others? Yes, that's why we need to pray for others. And yes, we could feed up everyone in the world if certain people wanted that to be, but certain people don't want that to be. And But God is able to do it. And he wants us to help out in doing that. And so the key to answer prayer is doing for others. And so we need to focus on those that are less, uh, uh, less, not less worthy, because everybody is worthy, but those that are hungry, those that are homeless, those with mental illness, um, we need to be available to those who need these things. And God will answer your prayer. So that's why we need to pray for those guys at all time, always lifting them up in prayer. And so that's another great uh, daily devotion for us all is to uh, love that brother as you love yourself. And that's the second greatest commandment. And so let's just continue to do that. And I thank you for joining us for another uh, daily devotion as we continue on with our studies. Amen. God bless you and may God keep you as I pray.